feels very similar to the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent, which is a great um, comparison for any shoe. Today I'm going to be testing out the X-Step 160X.2, which is a shoe that has been sent to me by X-Step um, for the purpose of review. They're a marathon racing shoe with a carbon fibre plate. Um, I've just put them on for the first time, I'm going to take them out on a long run, give you my first impressions as I take them out on that first run. This video is completely uh, my own opinion, X-Step haven't paid me at all to make this video and they haven't had any control over the content that I produce with the shoes. I believe they retail for 199 um, US dollars, which is 143 pounds. And yeah, got them in the nice red colorway. Feel comfortable on foot so far. And we're gonna take them out for my Sunday long run. Probably around that an hour to two hours, not long now before my 50 kilometer ultra marathon, hence why I'm wearing this um, vest running vest, I've got my water in here, some gels, um, I've got the Insta360 camera here which I'm going to be taking on the day, just slots in nicely. So yeah, going to be testing out some kit as well on the long run, just to make sure everything's comfortable really. Um, my bottle here I've got sort of half full, I tried it full and it, it started to bruise my ribs so I'm going to try not having so much water. There is three aid stations on the 50k route um, which is my race on Saturday. I've also got this little um, little foldable cup thing, just fits nicely in a little pocket so I can just grab it at any any taps along the way, any aid stations. So today's video, the X-Step 2.0's carbon racing shoe and we'll see how we get on. Just went through the 5k in the first run in around 21 minutes, ticking along at 412 pace, which is sort of my between my easy and my steady pace. It's very windy, so apologies if the audio is bad. Uh, but yeah, ticking along at just easy pace. Shoes are feeling good. I'll give you my reaction probably when we get home today. It's a bit too windy and rainy to be giving you first impressions. So I just finished my first run in the X-Step Marathon racing shoes. Um, first impressions were they're pretty damn comfortable um, and the ride was really good. I've got no complaints whatsoever, no hot spots, no blisters, um, but I will give you my full review uh, first impressions when I get back to the house. I ended up taking the shoes to the, mar the half marathon distance, um, averaging at 4.10 per kilometer. 1 hour 27.50 for the half marathon, which is a pretty good effort. Um, yeah, really enjoyed the shoes so far. Just finished my half marathon effort in these shoes, averaging 4.10 per kilometer, so sort of a steady run for me. Um, 
yeah, I thought I'd give you some first impressions. I'm gonna talk through um, the comfort of the shoe, the performance, um, talk to you a little bit about the style of this shoe, and finally, how I'm gonna use the shoe moving forward. I have made some notes here on my computer, so excuse me if I do look over here. Um, I just don't wanna miss anything. Um, in terms of comfort, straight out of the box, had no issues whatsoever. Very comfortable shoe, um, no hot spots, no blisters. Um, the lockdown was pretty secure, especially in this heel area. Here it's nice and padded, quite a firm um, heel counter here. And I had a nice, like, secure lockdown in the heel, which for me, um, for a shoe that you want to go a bit faster in, is quite important. Um, so in terms, of, in terms of comfort, did really, really well. Um, the only minor issue I did have is the insoles that come with the shoe. They, there's two different types of insoles that you can put in the shoe. Um, they're not um, glued in, um, just so you can change them basically. But I did notice that they were moving around a little bit, not too much. Um, but yeah, my first impression was they weren't, they weren't glued down, so I probably will end up gluing the insoles that I prefer um, down in the shoes. Onto the performance. Uh, my first impressions were they were quite a firm shoe. So what I mean by that is when you land on on the, in these shoes, um, it's quite a hard feeling. They're not a soft shoe like say the New New Balance Rebel V2. They're much firmer, uh, but they definitely have a snappy sort of marathon racing type shoe feel. Probably because of the carbon plate that is in the shoe. It's like a pronged carbon plate in this um, iteration of their marathon shoe. I believe they do a pro version of this which has a full length carbon plate. I did really enjoy this heel stack in the back. Um, I was just, when I was landing through my gait, through my foot cycle, um, I yeah, just really liked that little bit extra foam in the back compared to the front. Um, I'm not actually sure what the drop is on these shoes. I couldn't really find it online. I think it's around about a six mil drop. Um, so it's not super aggressive, but again, it's not, um, not flat like say an, an ultra shoe but yeah I really enjoyed the ride of the shoe which was probably the standout for me in terms of performance. Onto the style of this shoe obviously a nice bright red colorway stands out it looks great I like how the midsole is sort of um, divided by this black line here and it sort of goes up at the heel um, which just yeah gives the shoe a nice style and um, you've got some gold detailing, you've got X-Step written in gold, you've got lots of little details here in gold, even the little um, bits at the end of the laces are in gold, which I really like, nice little details, um, just gives the shoe a nice look. Moving on to the uses of this shoe, um, I will say this shoe is definitely suited for speed work, um, it's not a shoe you want to do your easy miles in, just because it is designed for marathon efforts, um, so yeah, I took it at 4.10 pace, which probably wouldn't want to go any slower for me, which is about my steady pace. I reckon that I did a few strides at sort of a tempo threshold type pace and it started to feel a lot better um, in terms of yeah performance. So it's definitely a shoe so, suited to more speed work. So moving forward, I'm going to use this for my long runs when I want to pick up the pace a little bit, my interval work, um, and yeah, my tempo sort of tempo sort of runs and yeah that's pretty much it just a little bit of a conclusion of this shoe it feels very similar to the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent which is a great um, comparison for any shoe um, if it's in the same category as a Nike Vaporfly then it's a good shoe um, so that's a good sign I would say um, it's not a Vaporfly killer um, but it's definitely sort of like a training alternative and especially for 140 pounds rather than I think Nike's Next percent retailed at 240 pounds. They've released they've released the new version, which is 209, I believe. But still, you're looking at about 60 to 100 pounds cheaper for the X Step uh, Marathon Racing shoe. And if I'm totally honest, for everyday runner like ourselves, they probably do exactly the same thing. You're not going to see a huge amount of benefit. You've still got a carbon plate. You've still got um, a nice um, responsive shoe. And yeah, very comfortable. So thank you very much to XStep for sending them to me. I've linked the XStep 160X.2 in the description so you can go check it out online. Um, and yeah, that pretty much summarizes another shoe review. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you with another uh, running related content soon. My 50K is now in whew, a few days time. Thanks for watching.